In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble a DB9 crossover cable for the Beagle board. What you see here is the components required for the fabrication of the cable. We will start with the flat ribbon cable, casing for the DB9 connector, FRC 10 pin female connector and a DB9 connector. This is the FRC 10 pin female connector. We will start at this end. Here you will see the top and side of the connector and you can see the two rows of fives equal to ten pins. If you look carefully on this side of the pin you can see an arrow. This signifies the pin number one. As the pin count is from one to ten you'll see that this starts with the first pin and when you turn it around that's first pin, second pin, third pin, fourth pin, fifth pin, sixth pin, seventh pin, eighth pin, ninth pin and the tenth pin. Now we'll start with the ribbon cable. If you see the ribbon cable you'll see that the red signifies pin number one. Notice the relation of the arrow marker on the connector and the red stripe on the ribbon cable as I place the cable on the connector. The connector is designed so that the little teeth inside will displace the insulation and make contact with the wire. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to place the cap on the connector. This ensures that the wire is squeezed in and the insulation is ripped off. So the inside wire, inside metal of the wire comes in contact with the connector. We are almost at the final stages of our finishing this end of the cable. So still make sure that the red wire is exactly in line, the first pin of the connector. Finally you need to use a crimping tool and to finally squeeze it in and put it in its place. So this is how it's going to look like once the piece is done. Now we move on to soldering the DB9 connector. First split the wires carefully. We need to separate the wire 2, 3 and 5. Please remember the wire count starts from the red wire. We do not require any other wires so instead of creating confusion, you can just cut off the unnecessary wires with a cutter. Take the female DB9 connector. Please observe carefully the pin configuration, starting with pin number 1 and ending with pin number 9. If you look at the picture, you can get a clearer idea. So when you turn it around, you can see the corresponding pin number 1. Looking further in detail. This is the RX, TX and the ground pin. You need to connect the third wire to RX, the second wire to TX and the fifth wire to ground. Don't forget to insert the connector casing before you start soldering. Put a tiny amount of lead on the required pins so that it's easier to solder the wire later. Now twist the wire as shown and place it over the correct pin and finally just solder.
finally just connect the connector casing and we are done if you have any more questions regarding the crossover cable or its assembly please feel free to contact tenetech.com and we will be glad to help you out thank you for watching this video and have a good day